And uh, David Gage has come to talk to us briefly. Another year, another Reading. There we are again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. How many of these have you done now? Uh, I think six now, isn't it? Is it really? Yeah. Six Reading for yeah. oh. the year. We did Phoenix last year, Reading yeah. the year before, Phoenix yeah. the year before. So it's like alternates between Reading and... Never Glastonbury, though. No. I don't know why. I think we played there once in 1987, and we obviously put him off for life there. Right. He the rest is back, so... Well, he doesn't have a lot of people back, does he, though? He's not, I don't, know, have no idea. No, I don't yeah, think he does. I've only been that once, but... Because uh, everybody else says that is the one. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a visit, isn't it? Even if you're not even going to play. But. Well, I always tell this because yes, you go to sort of visiting. Because uh, everywhere, I, no, not everywhere I go, but I keep getting stopped by people, you know, who are from Eastern Europe and things like this, who want yeah. to talk to you about the Beatles and so on. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I mean, you must get this as well when you travel to those parts of the world. It's, they're either the Beatles or Deep Purple for some reason. They seem to be the only <laughs> bands that uh, they're really t interested in. And uh, but then I, I always say, you know, this is uh, obviously a most enjoyable event, but Glastonbury is uh, yeah. such an extraordinary experience because it is like going to another planet. It's like a medieval it? village, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. All the stalls and stuff. Yeah. And it's, uh, anyway, so it was uh, this uh, this afternoon up to scratch, did Yeah, it was, it was actually one of the best ones. I mean, I, I know people always come in and say this, but it, it was it was one of the best ones, wasn't it? It was like, because uh, uh, it was really nice weather. Yeah. And uh, we were dreading it because, you know, the, the weather's been terrible, hasn't it? It has uh, been uh, terrible, uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. uh, Billy Bragg, who was uh, on yesterday, caught the very worst of the weather. Incidentally, listeners, this is coming to you live and direct, as you can tell, from the Reading Festival. And at the moment, the people are going thumpity thump in the background. Are Sonic is. Are you? Uh, she's been in the midst of a drum. Oh, there we go. It's a uh, demonstration of the truth of what we're doing. Of course, as you know, I'm sure all of this is done in a studio in London with lots of sound effects and things like that. And, you have to pay uh, it down quickly. So we, we have to pay them. We did actually. We, we ran into this yesterday. Yes, you're, you're <laughs> the aware of it. That's, uh, there was some American manager bursting. Hey, you fellas. <laughs> hey, listen. That's ten thousand dollars yours. Uh, so, uh, uh, well, so where do you go from here then? I mean, apart from going out to listen to Sonic Youth, I mean, America, we're, actually, funny enough, we're off to America. Yeah, we're, 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 we've just been uh, funny thing. We've, we've just been playing in shops. We've been doing a bit of that, you know, because it seems to be, you know, that's what they do now. It doesn't come across on the radio, really, David, pretending to play a guitar in a shop. Oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, listeners, David is pretending to play a guitar in a shop here. Yeah, and, the Virgin uh, 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 Air guitar. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what, do you mean you've been doing that in uh, dear old Blighty? Yeah, right? yeah, we did it in Not uh, Liverpool, Nottingham and uh, Plymouth, which... Uh, they well, got better, actually, because in Liverpool, they were, I think they, they're kind of used to it a bit more up there, you know, there's like, uh, yeah, so what, you know, you play yeah. in the shot. There's the little kid came and said, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying my guitar, you know, he's like, he's buying his records. And, yeah. But as we got down to Plymouth, when I think it was a bit a bit rarer, it's actually, uh, it was quite good, it was a bit, it was a bit more kind of, a, a bit more of an event, I suppose. Well, you're not going to be playing in shops in the States, though. We have done it a couple of times, yeah. I think it, I think it's more, it's more uh, common over there, actually. But uh, they've, only, they've only just started doing it here. So uh, how, when you go over there, I mean, how, how well known are the wedding present? I mean, well, I've got to say, we actually do really well over there. I mean, I think uh, it's one of those things where, because America's not as as fashion-oriented as Britain. I mean, in Britain, we were fashionable like late 80s, and then, you know, we second on the bill at, at Reading, actually, at one point, I think, supporting yeah. the spiral carpets, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but, they had uh, a great firework display. Did you, the, yeah, uh, did you hear, yeah, see any of the fireworks yeah. just now? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that was. That Just somebody, somebody banged, banged into us again. One of the, the fireworks just landed on the right. caravan, I think. Because, no, it was, it was really quite uh, alarming in here when they all went off, because the van yeah. really did shake, it's and there's a car out there that's the car alarm has been set off by the fire, and I, just, I could still hear it a moment or so ago. Well, what was that bang just then, anyway? Did you sense a bang? Not something... Oh, oh I see, was it? I'm oh, sorry, I thought it was uh, once again. I thought it was uh, another, uh, as, as a uh, tribal gathering, I thought somebody had backed a minibus into the, <laughs> into the equipment here. Um, anyway, so go on, so well, uh, where, whereabouts uh, are you going? Uh, but in America, they're, uh, they're not quite, I mean, they don't care how long the group's been going in America, you know, you, you know you're, you're, you're the wrong side of 30 or whatever, they, you know, they just say if they like the music, they like the music. Right. Which I, I've got to say, I, I think, uh, you, know, as a, you know, from a, an artist's point of view, it is fairer to actually go to a place where we're not at the whim of, you know, who's flavour of the month, but... And they're not afraid to uh, acknowledge the fact that their, uh, their influences go back, you know, earlier than David Bowie, really, oh, yeah, don't they? Because yeah. you get people doing covers <coughs> of, like, Elvis tunes and things who must have been hardly born when Elvis mm. died and things like that. So they, they do seem to uh, uh, scavenge from their entire heritage rather than the kind of the, yeah. the more recent... Heritage. At the same time, it does seem to be slower, you know, like you go over there and it's still... 
you know, it's still grungy music. It's still because it's, it's, it's I guess cause it's so vast. You know, the place it, it takes things. It takes you know in Britain we have a new scene every right. you know, six weeks, don't we? Like, Which I quite like. I quite, I mean, yeah, I quite I mean, like that as well. As I mean, say, I think, from you know, an artist's point of view, it's better in America. But from as a, as a punter, you know, yeah. I think it's great here. There's but, quite a good you know, piece in uh, on this very topic, oddly enough. In I think it's in today's uh, The Independent on Sunday, mm. uh, on, which I will give to you as when you leave, and you can <laughs> take it away and read <laughs> it. Full and service, it? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so we, yes, we, we, don't, we, we don't fall bow down on these things. So, uh, right, new single out? Is it? Uh, oh, so it's a bang in the microphone. A new single out? Any thoughts on that? Somebody, uh, it was actually reviewed on uh, Stuart McConey and uh, Andrew Collins, and they said it sounded like Prag Veg. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a pretty sound kind of cultural yeah. reference. Isn't oh, it? I've not yeah. heard of that name for about yeah. oh, 15 years. Yes, it's not, it's not, not, it doesn't often come up in polite yeah. society, that's for sure. They were rather a good band, <laughs> too, I think, to be compared to Prag Veg. Yeah, that's uh, quite impressive. That's mm. by that, but so, yeah. I, I can't see it, but I, mean, I, could probably, I don't think I remember a prog leg record. Now. No, I couldn't hum you one. If you said, uh, hum one or die, fat boy, I'd, I'd just have to roll <laughs> over, I'm afraid. There's no options for me there. So what are you going to do for the rest of the evening? Go out and uh, drink too much like the rest of the pop people? Uh, yeah, and... I imagine I will be, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah Stone Roses and, uh, what is it, Sonic Youth now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, mm. uh, that's Kim Gordon on the there monitors. Goes, the yeah. bank of monitors we here have in our luxuriously appointed studio at. OK, well, listen, thanks very much, and uh, let's hope we're both around to do this again uh, <laughs> <laughs> next year from either Phoenix or Reading, or uh, even uh, more exciting from your point of view, from Glastonbury. That would okay. be a real treat for you. Thank you it? very much. All right, okay, well, enjoy the stage. Thank you. Don't forget, and if you go, if you go, I'll tell you what you can do. Are you playing anywhere in the south? Not this time, but we, I think we are going back in November. So we All right, well, if you, the one thing that I, I really like is, and I was talking to people about this today, is that uh, there's a substance there called Royal Crown Cola, and it's, I'm not advertising because you can't get it in this country. Have you ever had, they're called RCs, that's, uh, we Southern boys uh, call them RCs. you never had no, an no, RC. That, no. Oh, well, if you, get, if you, if you, get, a, if you can get, get me a bottle or a can of RC, uh, you'd be a hero. Okay. We, we'd bring it back home. Does it taste different then or something? No, I don't think probably not, actually. It's just fizzy and makes you feel, you know, and it's uh, full Rock of sugar and stuff. But at the same time, you know, it's a kind of in a bit of nostalgia for me. You okay, know, I think, okay. think about the days when I was out selling insurance in West Texas with a crate of RCs in the back of the car, which never happened, of course, but yeah, I can imagine that it did. Right, OK. Uh, last night did the... Uh, sorry? I'll keep my eye open. Yeah, do. Yes, yes, do. <laughs> oh, you may let, turn to, you know, to enjoy myself. Um, Last night, uh, after I'd finished another exciting programme for Radio 1, I went out and about, caught Kanicki, and uh, I'll be playing the single at some stage the, the, during the night, and uh, also Dubstar. And I, I don't know, where, where do you stand on Dubstar? I'll be frank and fearless about this. Well, well, well I think... Uh, I don't really All like right, don't be frank and fearless, then. OK, <laughs> enough is enough. Um, but uh, I'd, I'd never been a great fan of the, of the band, but uh, when playing live, as is often the case, they just seem more kind of muscular and, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where... Well, it's the thing you don't like to criticise people, because you... you you walk out there and, and they're standing they're there, there yeah, right? right. everybody else in the world is doing that, that yeah, so you, 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 I mean I'm, I'm fortunate in that uh, my memory is so bad that I don't recognise anybody anyway so uh, I may be standing right next to people about whom I've been profoundly well, some insulted. people you can't I mean because Mark Lamar did it too didn't I because once somebody asked me about the word and I said you know that the worst thing about the word is Mark Lamar and then play at Phoenix there he is there he going, you hate a me, nice man you? actually he's and a he, nice bloke and a wedding present fan until that point <laughs> 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 suddenly that, that was it yes, that really, best, really best, bad, best you know? to say nothing I think uh, yeah. uh, right okay well thanks uh, thanks very much for coming in again as I say now bang on nine o'clock as advertised live from Reading the wedding presents
fantastic uh, new single, as, as you say in these uh, kind of circumstances. So you all think it's great and go out and buy it. This is called uh, Two, Three, Go. change it for you. This is uh, another fantastic new song actually.
听听好唔好
Thank you. I like that little puppet thing. Where's that gone? What's that? It's a bit like a black and white sooty down there. Like a little sooty panda. It's gone now. There it is. There he goes. Look at that. Very nice, that. You try to no, no, I want you to. Because I am oh, Montreal.
just to ruin my day. Wedding present fading away into nothing, and nothingness rather, recorded earlier on this afternoon at the Reading Festival. In the background, you can hear Sonic Youth, who are working on the main stage a few feet away. Uh, the tracks you heard from the wedding present, you probably knew them already, but there was Kansas, followed by 2-3 Go, which is the current single, then Venus, a Love Slave, Real Thing, Drive, Montreal, and finally Come Play With Me. And to come up later on in the programme, uh, we've got, uh, and again, I'm not quite sure what the order of these things is going to be, but it'll be Julian Cope, Ash, and hopefully uh, a bit of a chat with Tim out of Ash at some stage too, uh, Catatonia, and Flaming lips. That's between now and midnight because, as I said, there's no Kershaw programme tonight. 